being watchful in prayer is a theme throughout scripture you know we find many many scriptures where the bible says watch and pray watch and pray so we want to understand today what does it mean to be watchful in prayer how do i do it you know how do i practice that in life and so that's what we're going to do this morning so in prayer he's saying be on guard in prayer be spiritually alert in prayer watch intently focus in prayer stay sober be sober and pray are you getting it now that's what you and i as believers are supposed to be doing through our prayer so i want to talk about first uh, three things to be watchful for in prayer now i'm going to go through this fast uh, very quickly first watchful to see what is happening around you so you watch what are people doing what's happening in situation circumstances how about things changing you're watchful so watchful about things happening around you uh, how do you apply it in your life maybe you know be be a watchful what's happening in your own family don't wake up 25 years later and say who i married 25 what happened to my son daughter oh they grew up hey be watchful be alert to the things what's happening around you people circumstances situations things that are changing be watchful second what do we watch over in prayer be watchful to see what god is revealing to you you see when we are praying praying is not just me giving god my list of things no prayer is a two way engagement and when you're watching in prayer often god speaks god reveals god shows you things so when you're watching in prayer you're also listening you're also seeing number 3 be watchful to respond to god's moving within you so when you're praying you're watching and praying you're watching for the stirring of god's spirit inside you sometimes god will stir you about, about things that you're not even praying about so when you're watching god will move you stir you to do things that you aren't you weren't expecting but that's the way he wants you to go so be watchful for the moving or the stirring of god's spirit in you in prayer four areas to be watchful over in prayer what should be watchful over number 1 be watchful over your own life so watch over your own life in prayer so as you pray god what's happening in my own life is everything in my life right before you are there areas in my life where the enemy is knocking he said watch and pray you're being on guard in prayer you're intent in prayer you're listening to god in prayer watch and pray lest you enter into temptation number 2 watchful for the maneuvers be watchful for the maneuvers of the devil now this is not god taking you saying come on devil devil tempt him that's not he's saying god keep me that i don't go down the path where i'm going to be tempted rather god keep me from what the devil's doing so that's the way we pray we're watching and praying god keep me from the maneuvers the strategies the schemes of the devil number 3 be watchful over god's people for those of us who are in spiritual leadership in the house of god that we must watch over each other so you and i in prayer we are watchful over each other it is true for those of us in spiritual leadership but i'm also putting this out to all of us that we can watch over each other in prayer watchful that nobody gets distracted taken away here and there uh, in in uh, all kinds of things the last point here is this we're to be watchful for the coming of the lord you're watchful for a reason two important reasons one you're watchful and you're praying and saying god what should i what do you want me to do given all that's happening what do you want me to do so you're asking god how should i live given the times in which i am secondly you want your watchful so that you could be ready for the coming of the lord that any time jesus comes i'm ready you're ready amen so you live in a state of readiness 